Auzubillahimineshshaitwanirrojim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's look into the definitions of various terms which we are using in the consolidation. First of all, definition of the group. A group is basically a number of separate legal entities that are subject to common control. So again, the word is common control. Maybe there are three companies, parent, subsidiary and subsidiary, but control is at one place, common control. Or the parent is controlling all those other. And therefore can be said to be a single economic entity for the financial reporting purposes. If there are three or four, five, but one single unit, we consider it as a one single unit. Control is defined, the power to govern the financial and operating policies. That is the crux of the matter. That if you are in a position to control the financial and operating policies, it means you got a full control, dominating control rather, of an entity so as to obtain benefits from its activity. Because if you have the control, then the policy will frame that will be beneficial to you. The most common way of to control one entity to another is by obtaining more than 50% of voting shares. So generally, that's a formula that you get more than 50% of voting shares. So it means we assume that you got the control. The acquiring company, again this word acquiring means the one, the parent company, is known parent and the acquired is called subsidiary. The parent company is required to prepare consolidated financial statement unless it is specifically exempted by any, any other IAS. So the parent company is basically responsible to prepare the group account. It doesn't mean that they don't prepare their separate accounts. No, they have to prepare their separate account as well, but group company may Jo parent company hai, usko additionally consolidated accounts bhi banana padte. Investor control and investee if only if it has all the following. Achha, control ke liye conditions hai. Number one, power over the investee has existing right that gives its current ability to direct and rele relevant activities significantly affect the investee's return. Yani, जो इन्वेस्टी कंपनी है उसकी पॉलिसीज पर आपके पास सिग्निफिकेंट इन्फ्लुएंस हो ताकि आप उसको डायरेक्ट कर सके एक्सपोजर और राइट टू वेरिएबल रिटर्न्स फ्रॉम इस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टी नॉर्मली हम इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं तो उसको सर्टेन परसेंट प्रॉफिट कमा लेते हैं इस केस में ऐसा नहीं है इस वेरिएबल वेरिएबल इन देंस कि जितना भी सब्सिडी प्रॉफिट बनाएंगी ज्यादा ज्यादा बनाएंगी आपको उसी हिसाब से आपके शेयर जिंग Milta chala jayega. The ability to use its power over the investee to affect the amount of investor returns having decision making rights. When is aap, jo parent company hai, uske paas decision making rights hote hai. Normally ye bhi hota hai sometime, ke group ek certain loan le leta hai bank se aur phir wo usko distribute karta hai among the other companies. Aur uske paas control hai. Aur yehi wajah hai main ke group accounts mein hum ek तीनों चारों कंपनियों को मिलाकर कंसोलिडेटेड अकाउंट्स बनाते हैं और उसकी बेस पर हम बैंक के पास जाते हैं कि देखें हमारा ग्रुप है और इसमें हमें इतने फंड्स चाहिए वो फंड्स आपको देते हैं फिर आपकी मर्जी है कि आप उसको कहां कहां पर लगाते हैं यानी पेरेंट अपने पास रख लेता है या फर्दर सब्सिडरीज में डिवाइड करता है लॉस ऑफ कंट्रोल डी रिकगनाइज द एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज ऑफ द फॉर्मर सब्सिडरी फ्रॉम द कंसोलिडेशन अगर आपका कंट्रोल किसी वजह से खत्म हो जाता है और कैसे खत्म होगा मसल आपके पास फिफ्टी पर सिक्सटी परसेंट शेयर हैं एक कंपनी बी के तो अगर आप उसमें से आप ट्वेंटी परसेंट बेच देते हैं तो आपके पास फोर्टी परसेंट रह जाते हैं तो फिर आपके पास कंट्रोल नहीं है तो कंट्रोल का मतलब यही है कि आपके पास मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट शेयर हों रिमेंबर द डिसीजन ऑफ कंसोलिडेशन शुड बी मेड बाई एबिलिटी टू कंट्रोल एंड नॉट द परसेंटेज हेल्ड दैट इज ए Uh, a conflict basically what I said earlier, but it is not a conflict. He says clearly that control is important, but in certain cases, if you have 46% share, then you can show that we are in a position to take dominant influence on the company's affairs. 
so in that case you are eligible to prepare the consolidated account so necessarily one thing is clear ke control holding share se hi hai lekin in case aap 46 ya 50 se uh, 49 se bhi ye show kar de ki ji we are the controller aur baki jo share holders hai aapke muqable mein nahi aate hain so in that case you can uh, consolidate the accounts a wholly owned parent is not to consolidate the accounts of its subsidiary ye ek interesting baat hai ki dekhiye a hai parent company b hai subsidiary company lekin agar a k ek aur company hai jo k ka k parent hai aur a jo hai subsidiary hai to in that case a ko fir consolidate accounts nahi banane padenge kyunki consolidated account jo hai sirf parent company banati hai agar aap already subsidiary hai kisi ke to fir aap consolidated accounts nahi banayenge subsidiaries can be excluded from consolidation if the control is intended to be temporary dekhi normally hum jo invest karte hain more than 50% shares to iska matlab ye nahi ki humne kal isko bech dena hai balki humne isko continue karna hai over a longer period of time lekin agar aapki intention ye hai ki humne isko thode arse ke baad sell out kar dena hai to phir bhi aapko consolidate karne ki zarurat as such nahi hai they are expected to sell within the next 12 months clearly hai ki agar aap aane wale 12 mahino mein isko bech denge to phir nahi phir aapko consolidation nahi karne ki zarurat hai ab ek baat to ye bhi hai ki aap jab isko acquire karte hain to share ki khareedari kaise karni hai normally ye nahi hota ki aap company ke paas jate hain balki aapko market se share lene padte hain aur market se jab aap share khareedne jate hain to junk itna bada nahi khareedte balki gradually aap usko badhate hain aur jab aapke paas more than 50% shares ho jate hain to then you become the parent company normally pakistan mein aisa hua hai jo ye jo insurance company hai jubilee uske share daud group ne aista aista khareede aur then become the hold uh, parent company to ye bhi zaruri hai and where management is actively seeking a buyer acha agar aapne bechna hai aur aap ye bhi koshish kar rahe hain ki koi buyer mil jaye aur hum isko bech denge to even then you don't need to consolidate subsidies in the positions are treated as held for trading as is 32 yani agar aapke paas control nahi rehta hai to phir aapki wo jo investment hai wo uh, uh, trading held for trading agar wo 20 percentage bhi kam ho jata hai to held for trading hai lekin agar aapka share 22 40 uh, 20 to 50 percent ke darmiyan rehta hai to then it become an associate company or being an associate company आपको फिर से उसको कंसोलिडेटेड अकाउंट्स में लेना पड़ता है नॉट उसको फुली कंसोलिडेट नहीं करते बल्कि मैं आगे जाके बताऊंगा कि एसोसिएटेड कंपनी में एक सिंपल सी कैलकुलेशंस है वो आपको दिखाता हूं अभी दिखाता हूं थैंक यू वेरी मच